Hello, and welcome to this demo for SAP Predictive Maintenance and Service. Acme Railroad is a fictitious train operator and is facing the challenge of rising maintenance costs and low customer satisfaction due to trains requiring unexpected maintenance that result in delays and service interruptions. They need to better manage their assets and the associated costs. To achieve this, Acme Railroad uses SAP Predictive Maintenance and Service to constantly monitor the health of their assets, allowing them to identify early and potentially critical situations. This is a clear shift from a reactive model to a predictive maintenance approach. Preventing unplanned and expensive maintenance incidents helps them to better allocate service budget to optimize planned activities. The following demo shows how CAM, maintenance engineer at ACME, uses SAP predictive maintenance and service to optimize the effectiveness of his maintenance programs through data-driven planning and prioritization of service activities. Log on to Asset Health Control Center in SAP Predictive Maintenance and Service allows me to get an overview of the health of all my trains and decide how to plan maintenance programs for each of them. I have configured a set of insight providers, which gives me all the required information I need to make quick decisions. On the top, I have a set of key figures that shows me the high and medium alerts sent from my fleet. High priority alerts indicate potential asset failures. Wow! I see 27 alerts have come in in the last 48 hours. This is quite above the average. By using the Derived Signals Insight Provider, I can begin my assessment of the situation. Let me select the battery, which seems to be the most affected component. Then I'll update the other Insight Providers to further investigate which trains are affected. The flexibility of the Asset Health Control Center has allowed me to isolate the suspected issue. When I scroll down in the Asset Health Control Center, I can see in the Asset Explorer that 15 trains have sent high severity alerts. Browsing the list, I can see that most of them are coming from regional trains. That's interesting because lately there have been a lot of service requests for regional trains. Let me see how many of these are actually regional trains. Eight of them are in fact regional trains. Asset Explorer allowed me to narrow down to focus on regional trains and discover that the health status of the oldest regional train, with a remaining useful life of one year, is in critical condition. Let me update the Asset Health Control Center so that I can see where these trains are located. To further analyze the impact of the problem, I open up the Insight Provider Catalog that provides different kinds of Insight Providers with useful functionality. The Insight Provider Catalog is a repository of Insight Providers. These are microservices that provide analytical and predictive capabilities. They consume data from the Fusion services and implement the business logic to expose the insights. Customers can productize their domain knowledge as custom Insight Providers to implement and enhance their competitive edge. Partners can also develop custom applications and custom Insight Providers using the open and extensible SAP Predictive Maintenance and Service platform. For this case, I am interested in understanding where these affected trains are and their geographical distribution. So I select the Geospatial Visualization Insight Provider and add it to my Asset Health Control Center. With the Geospatial Insight Provider, I can see the current location of the affected trains. In addition, it shows me which service station provided maintenance for these eight regional trains. Of the eight, six of the trains were serviced in service station number 21. Using the GeoFence functionality, I create a subset of the six trains that have been serviced at service station 21. Again, from the Insight Provider catalog, I select the 3D Visualization Insight Provider so that I can analyze the sensor values of the batteries for all the trains in the GeoFence subset. The 3D chart shows the six selected trains in the X-axis and the trend of the battery signals from those trains in the y-axis. The peaks represent the sensor values from each battery at certain intervals of time. Using the threshold measuring tool in the 3D Insight Provider, I can bear the sensor values. I see that some of them have crossed the threshold level of 69.4, which is critical based on my preset parameters. In particular, I see that one of them has far exceeded this threshold. 
I select that sensor value and navigate to the Asset Health Fact Sheet for this particular regional train. The component view in the Asset Health Fact Sheet shows me the health status of all the parts from this particular train. The embedded analytics within the application has determined that the battery health status and the expected lifetime is far below the typical range. In the Asset Health Fact Sheet, the acceptable asset health status ranges are derived from historical data, applied data science, and machine learning. Given the health score and expected lifetime information of this train, it needs immediate servicing. So let me create a work activity for the battery on this regional train. I enter additional details for the technician and flag it as very high priority. The work activity has been successfully created in the Asset Health Fact Sheet. Let me go to the Asset Health Control Center so I can access SAP Maintenance Resource Scheduling, our maintenance scheduling system. SAP Predictive Maintenance and Service can be integrated with SAP Maintenance Repair and Overhaul, SAP Plant Maintenance, and other third-party maintenance execution systems. In SAP Maintenance Resource Scheduling, I see my newly created work activity below in the list. On the timeline graph, I see that this train already has a scheduled maintenance event on Thursday. The battery problem is of high severity and needs to be taken care of immediately. Let me try and find an earlier appointment to resolve this issue. I schedule this for Tuesday to ensure the operational uptime. I will bring the existing scheduled maintenance on Thursday into this Tuesday appointment to ensure first visit fix rate. Since I already know that service station 21 seems to have an issue, I selected another service station. I am back in SAP Predictive Maintenance and Service, and there is the work order in my work activities list in the Asset Health Fact Sheet. SAP Predictive Maintenance and Service enabled CAM to quickly drill down to properly assess the situation and identify the relevant issues effectively. Real-time and historical data allowed him to act proactively and better manage his assets. By doing this, he mitigated associated maintenance costs while avoiding delays and service interruptions for his customers.